Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we got to ask ourselves the question, has the bleeding stopped? Because as we all know, in this current global economic recession we're living in, we've all felt a pullback in the comic book collecting hobby. So in this video, we're going to take a look at my Silver Age Index and see if we can get an update on the month of July. Are we still going down or have we actually turned the ship and starting to go back up? So in this video, we're going to take a look at that together. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy some of the data I have for you today. But before I get into the video, if you guys could drop me a like or comment or subscribe and join the content, helps for our channel, do one of those things, I would appreciate it. But let us get into this video here today. And of course, if you guys don't know, a month or so ago, I actually came out with a video that I talked about where I created a Silver Age Index. And of course, you know, this is not a perfect system, but I thought it would be really interesting to have as a tool to analyze the market as sort of a, you know, a macro view or a bird's eye view to get a sense of some of the numbers and not so much individual books that go up or down. So, uh, in this video, we actually have an update for the month of July. We all know that the month of June uh, saw a really steep decline in the values of comic books. So the ultimate question is, you know, kind of where are we right now here today? Are people taking advantage of some of those dips? Are we still going down? Are we still going up? Uh, generally, where are we? So you know, just to do a quick recap, I won't go fully into it, but the Silver Age Index, it's the top 100 sold Silver Age books that I'm calculating here. And I'm focusing on the highest volume of grade with regards to each of those individual books within that top 100. Then I'm taking the final sale of the month, uh, AKA the market close. And then I'm looking at the GPA data and then I'm adding those all together. And then month by month, we get sort of a index fund value for all these 100 books. Now in the last video, I showed you guys this chart here, which was the Silver Age 100 index going all the way back to January of 2018. Uh, you know, we saw ups and downs, things like that. But of course we all know that in the early 2021 stage, this uh, market saw a huge increase in prices peaking in May and April of 2021. Uh, we saw sort of like ups and downs, ups and downs all throughout 2021 and 2020. And then you can see right there from May to June, we had the biggest decrease in in values of comic books. And this is something that we've all sort of felt in this market. Now, the good news I have right off the gate is that that value right there you see in the month of June, 2022, 57,959 uh, has actually had a correction because when I calculated that value, we were only three weeks into the month of June at that point. So, you know, in the last week or so, we were able to get a few more sales and the true results of the month were actually something more like this, where we did finish at the $66,000 range. So we went from uh, 57,000, which at that time would have been a 30% drop in values from the previous month. And actually uh, where we actually did finish, uh, we are only at the 20% basically value of drops. But even with that correction, that was still the biggest drop that we've had in a month to month scenario uh, over the course of the last sort of two calendar years or so. That, so that was still a large drop off in sales. Uh, but the ultimate question is, you know, where are we now? You know, with all these prices coming down, how have collectors been acting? Have they been continuing to buy? Are they buying less? Are prices still going down? Well, I am happy to report that the update for July of 2022 actually saw an increase in the value of the Silver Age Index. Now, the key takeaways here is that this is for Silver Age books only. You know, I still have yet to make a Bronze Age and a Copper Age and a Modern Age Index. Those might be different, but we are seeing a little bit of a bounce off the floor for the Silver Age. So that gives us, you know, a good feeling overall. If you're someone out there who's a big Silver Age collector, uh, you know that we might have been able to bounce off of this new floor. Now, that doesn't really mean anything other than, you know, this month looks good. Of course, you know, things could go back down next month. Uh, things could definitely get worse in this economy, which a lot of people are thinking uh, that might be the case. I would say that, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. I would like to see another three months or so of numbers and data to get a sense of where we are. But overall, that is a good sign that the index is actually up from the previous month. Now, before we get too excited, though, there are some interesting takeaways that I'm going to talk about later on in the video that kind of really dig into the numbers and talk specifically about, you know, why we are where we are. Uh, but let's focus just on the overall percentage first before I get into sort of the minutia of it. So one of the things I think is interesting to talk about, of course, is sort of the month by month situations here. So in May of 2022, uh, we were at $80,000 price point. We went to June of 2022, $66,000 in terms of, you know, uh, liquidity that is being injected into Silver Age comic books. That that saw an 18% drop from that particular month. That was, you know, sort of, sort of at the start 
of the you know slowdown of the comic book market. But from that point of June here now in July, we've actually seen a 6% increase in terms of the liquidity going into the Silver Age. So that is a positive sign. Of course, this is you know not a perfect science, guys. This is something that you know is just a one way to sort of calculate a broad sense of the data. Uh, there's tons of room for error in this. So you know 6% pretty negligible at that point. Uh, again, I would like to sort of see this kind of even out for the next few months or so in order for us to feel confident that we're not going to continue to go down or that we have established a new floor and that we're sort of set overall. But, you know, generally speaking, it does seem like uh, even with the last month going down where it was, uh, we're still above the prices of 2020. So I think that overall, that is a good sign that, you know, the bottom is not totally going to fall out of the comic book market, at least in terms of the Silver Age. Now, of course, it's all relative to when you bought, because if we focus Focus on you know uh, this sort of calendar year, or I'd say the last two calendar years, uh, record high, uh, and we've looked back to May of 2021 where we saw the you know liquidity of $93,000 going into the top 100 Silver Age comic books. Uh, we've definitely seen still a 25% drop from that previous month high. So, you know, we've definitely had a pullback, uh, but 25%, I think, is probably a fair pullback overall. You know, many people would call it a healthy correction. And if 25% is as far as we're gonna drop back down, uh, I would say that that's a pretty good indication that, you know, we could definitely see some of those record highs uh, of the $93,000 range, you know, at some point in the future. Maybe it'll take a couple years for us to get there, but uh, 25% doesn't seem like a lot of ground that we're gonna have to cover if we wanna get back to those prices. So if you're somebody who, you know, bought a great blue chip key book at the top of those values and you're sort of like feeling it right now and you're kind of worried and you're feeling bad about yourself, uh, I would say that, you know, you can definitely gain some ground if these numbers continue to hold. And I think eventually we'll get back up there, assuming the book you got is actually, you know, a certified blue chip of the Silver Age. All right, a couple other interesting graphs to talk about is the month by month graph. Uh, this is something that I thought was interesting that I showed in the last video I did. This is the Silver Age sales by month. Now, obviously these last two years have seen a major increase in the values, but what I think is the most interesting thing to look at when we look at a graph like this is, you know, uh, identifying, you know, collector behavior in a month by month basis. I mean, my conclusion uh, from the last time I talked about this is that you always see sort of a spike in values in the month of May. And my sister suspicion to that is because, you know, you have this Marvel tentpole movie that always comes out in the month of May and that gets people really, really excited. So everyone is buying the books whenever, you know, say the Avengers movie is out or the Doctor Strange movie is out. And then, you know, in the month of July, which is the month that, you know, we previously just had, you always see a lull in the prices. You've typically almost seen it in every single year. You know, a lot of people talk about the summer months always having a dip in the comic book market, but let's take a look at some of the values of July and compare it to some of the previous years. Well, here you see see that the actual month of July is is up uh, this time around versus in the previous years. In every single other year, uh, with the exception of 2019, you saw a higher June and a lower July. Well, this one, we actually have the opposite. And so that's something that is really encouraging to me because, you know, I think we saw such a steep decline from May to June that a lot of people saw these prices dropping and probably thought to themselves, hey, I should take advantage of some of these dips. You know, whereas in the previous months, we've had corrections from May to June, but nothing at the same level that we've had in this current year so I think that's one of the reasons that we've been able to have such a strong um, bounce back up in this particular month is because people are watching these prices dip and thinking to themselves, hey, this is a good entry point. I might jump back into this thing. Uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see what this looks like for the rest of the calendar year. In previous years, it does feel like, you know, you see dips in September and November or, or at least, you know, the values trade sideways. So it's certainly possible that as a comic book market in this calendar year, we can continue to go down a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't be so worried if we do in fact do that, you know, for me, it's like, I just don't want to see the bottom drop out. I'd like to see uh, us trade sideways for a time. And then in the month of December, that's when things really tick up. Of course, my uh, theory as to why that is the case is that, you know, people are probably buying a lot of big books to have, you know, uh, tax write-offs uh, to offset some capital gains. So I think that there will be an increase in sales uh, at some point in December, uh, even outside of all the sort of the global economic recession things that are occurring in the economy. All right, but with all that said, let's Let's discuss some key takeaways here that I think are really interesting to focus on. Now, even though we had higher uh, liquidity in terms of overall sales in the current index, what I think is really interesting is that when you actually dig into the numbers, a lot of the comic book values 
are selling for less than what they were selling for in the previous month. And the reason that we've actually had a higher uh, number overall this month is that we've seen an increase in volume of sales. So if we look at the comic book values, 38% of books that encompass the 100 books in the Silver Age Index have actually dropped in terms of their value, meaning they've actually gone down month to month. Only 12% of books have actually gone up. And typically speaking, the only books that go up within that 12% are books like you know, Submariner number one or Fantastic 452, things that actually got a major bump due to San Diego Comic-Con. In fact, a lot of the values that we saw and the increase in the values were saved due to the announcements of San Diego Comic-Con. There were a lot of sales on that, you know, July 31st date, you know, right before we had the close of the market. So uh, that is something to consider too, is that, you know, we've had an increase due to the fact that we got a lot of announcements and excitement in the market. Now, 50% of the books, generally speaking, had had a push or a wash. Either they sold for around the same price or there wasn't a sale to report this year or there wasn't a sale to report last year. So even though we're up overall this month, a large amount of the books have actually gone down in their individual values. Uh, then of course, comic book volume right there, we are up 10%, meaning if there wasn't a sale last month, there were sales this month. And that's one of the reasons why the overall index has had an increase in terms of its value and why we we're actually able to go up in terms of you know this month's uh, overall liquidity. So that is really interesting to think about. You know, Maybe a lot of people are thinking like, hey, where the prices are right now, this is a good time to buy. So we're seeing a lot of enthusiasm in terms of the buying. A lot of people still want comic books. A lot of people are still sort of taking advantage of some of those dips. We see a high amount of uh, volume and transactions being done. We're just not seeing the all-time record highs hit their numbers, or we're not seeing you know uh, books able to match you know previous record highs. So I think that that's really interesting. Anyways, that's my overall Silver Age Index update. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think these numbers are interesting at all? What are your thoughts on the current state of the market? It'll be interesting to see where we go you know, three months from now. I will continue to do this market update report uh, at the end of every month. And uh, you know, hopefully, we'll start to turn the corner and have those books uh, go to the moon very soon. Anyways, that's all for this video. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I'll see you in the next one.